Now that we have configured host2 as our replica server, and we have configured our virtual machine 55021-OMA-LAB, our virtual machine for replication, we are ready to execute a planned failover. First, let's take a look at host2. Here we see that we've got 55021-OMA-LAB in a powered off state. This is the replica virtual machine. If we check replication health here, by right-clicking, clicking replication, and going to replication health, we'll see that replication is enabled for this virtual machine, that the replica, replication type for this uh, virtual machine on this host is replica, that its current primary server is host 1, its replica server is host 2, and its replication health is normal. There are some statistics that we've gathered that can show you uh, the, the times and the sizes uh, of those replications. And we will now close and we'll go look at the virtual machine on host 1. Again, if we right click the virtual machine, go to replication, and view the replication health, we'll see that replication again is enabled. This replication type is primary on this virtual machine. The primary server and replica servers are the same as host 1 and host 2, and that the replication health is normal. Now, in order to begin a planned failover, we need to make sure that our virtual machine is shut down. Now that it's shut down, we can right click it, go to replication, and execute planned failover. We want to make sure that we check this box to, so that it will start the replica virtual machine after the failover is complete and we'll click failover to begin the process. See our prerequisite checks have completed successfully and it has begun. We've sent the data over. We failed over to the replica server we have reversed the replication direction and it now started the replica machine. So now we see here that it's the OMA-LAB machine on host 1 is still in a state of off and if we go to host 2 we'll see now that it's running over here on host 2. Now if we go back to host 1 we're going to remove the replication. So we'll go here to replication after we right click our machine and simply click on remove replication. See the merge is in process and the merge has succeeded. Now we simply go over to host 2. See it's still running and in order to move to the next section of the lab we'll go ahead and shut down this machine and we have successfully completed a planned failover.